store. Are you guys ready to see what I have so far? She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Now come on now. What's up icons? It's the iconic fashion figure and I haven't sat over here in a while. So I've done a video before that is still trending in like my top five videos of apps and software you guys can use to create your fashion sketches, your fashion illustrations, to be able to design a full fashion collection. Well one of them that I didn't show you that I'm about to show you today is almost like a dupe to Adobe Illustrator. And the best part about this app is that it is completely free. Now I've had this app on my phone and iPad for quite a while because you can use it on both, but I never really used it. I never saw its full potential until recently I just decided to check out this app that I've had forever and never done anything with it. And to my surprise, I can't believe I've been letting this app sit on my phone and iPad for this long because it is literally just like Adobe Illustrator and it is free. Like why am I paying for Adobe every month when this app does exactly what I need for free. So I'm about to show you guys that app right now, how to use it, and then I'm gonna show you a bunch of the sketches that I've created in this app for Mr. Rich because I've pretty much done all my Mr. Rich sketches in this free app that you can create a full fashion collection in. So the free app is called Vectinator and as you guys can see I've already created a sketch in Vectinator and I added in my own color so let me go in and take out that color so that way I can show you guys what I actually did because what I ended up doing was taking one of those images from a previous video and using that as a guide to sketch out my design. So for those of you that do not know how to draw you can do this too. You don't actually need to know how to draw you're pretty much just tracing but let me go back in and add the fill in and save this design so I can actually show you guys how I did this. So to start a new design you'll click the plus sign, click import and then you'll go into your photos. And as you can see these are the pictures that I used in the video where I did my mood board. So I'm going to select one of these to use as a demo to sketch for you guys today. And I'll go ahead and start with this design as a demo for you. So what I'll first show you is the pencil tool because there's a couple different ways you can do this but I'm going to show you the way that I prefer to do it. Now with the pencil tool you can free draw. So for those of you that actually know how to draw you can use the pencil and draw this yourself. Although I still feel like even with the pencil if you know how to draw it's still not as clean cut as using the pen tool. So I personally prefer the pen tool but I'm going to show you the pencil as well especially since we're tracing in this video. You can use the pencil. The only thing with the pencil is it's hard to make clean lines when tracing especially doing this as a digital sketch so you guys will see like right now my lines for the most part aren't too bad towards the end where I start getting a little impatient and I just want it to be done that's when I kind of start messing it up because I'm rushing at that point and you guys will start to see the lines aren't straight you'll also notice I have to keep stopping to readjust my screen because I'm zoomed in so I can see the edges so you have to keep stopping which means it's not a closed item you have a bunch of different endpoint that you'll eventually have to connect. So the pencil tool I would recommend using if you're just free drawing, not necessarily tracing, but even then when it comes to fashion illustration, if you're doing flat sketches and you need all your vector points to connect, then I don't recommend using the pencil, but it is an option if you want more control over your designs. But as you guys can see, like the lines are starting to get squiggly, which I'm going to show you in a moment how you can fix that to clean that up, but it will take more time. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly finish the rest of this design. I've done the outline like I've just shown you guys here, but I want to go in and finish adding the rest of the detail so then I can actually show you what it looks like if I were to only use the pencil tool. So the full design is complete with using the pencil. So now I'm going to take away the image so you guys can see the full outline and what's done. Just from afar, I can already see some of the imperfections here. I'm going to zoom in now so you can see like where those lines are overlapping, where it's all squiggly yet like it's not clean at all I can go in and clean it myself so you guys see all those little dots on there where there are little squiggly points I'm gonna add the picture back in so that way you guys can see how off it is but if I go back into those little vector points I can move those around I can adjust them so that they're straight or curved if I need them to curve but basically when using the pencil tool you can go in and clean up whatever work you just did the only thing is it 
takes a little longer so after sitting there tracing it I then have to go in on all of these little points and try to clean it up so that's why I say for me personally I don't use the pencil I prefer the next option which I'm about to show you guys now so the next option is the pen tool instead of the pencil and the pen tool is going to create those same vector points so like those little dots that I showed you at the end of using the pencil the pen does the same thing but you can see those little dots as you go so you don't have a million of those little dots that are unnecessary you create your own dots and you adjust them as you go so you'll see how much easier it is for me to trace this because like the side of the sleeve for the most part is straight so I can go up the entire sleeve and just add a dot and then I'll add more dots when it comes into the curves because I have to make sure it gets curved and I can adjust it as I go so you'll notice my lines when using the pen tool is a lot cleaner than using the pencil tool so I'll go ahead and finish this design and then I'll come back and show you guys once it's complete so you can see the full design after using the pen tool Full design is complete using the pen tool and you can see already the lines are so much cleaner it looks so much neater here so I'm gonna go ahead and add in my color just how I did in the first design that you guys have seen gonna choose the color I want to throw in here but then I'm gonna go back to the image too so that way you guys can see because on the original image there's a logo on there so as you can see the essentials logo on there so if I want to add a logo I can add one too so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that next so for the logo all I'm doing is literally going into text and I'm going to type in whatever I want it to say for the logo of course since this is just a word logo I can use text but if you're using like an image logo you'll have to import the image but to do something similar to what the essentials logo looks like you just use the text tool and type it in and then under the paintbrush tool which is like the style tool you can go under there and you can adjust like the font you can adjust the size you can adjust you know the spacing between each character you can add shadow there's like the blend options you can do like overlay and stuff where it'll change the color and the look of the logo there's a lot you can do under the style tool to make it look like the logo that you want but that's pretty much it for the logo on this specific design is just using the text tool so I'll go ahead and finish this up and here is the final design well actually this is not the final because I need to add in the ribbing on here so as I mentioned this app is available on both the iPad and phone. I believe it's available for Android too. I should probably double check, but I have all Apple products, so you can definitely do it on an iPhone. Now, me personally, I did all my sketches from my iPad just because the bigger screen's a lot easier, and I can use my Apple Pencil. But if you don't have an iPad and you're not ready to invest in one, which I highly recommend to invest in one, that iPad has been like one of my best investments recently. But anyway, let's talk about the phone. So you can use Vector on a phone and just like how I would do on the iPad you would do the same thing on a phone and then you can zoom in if you need to and create your vector points it's the same thing as on the iPad you can do on the phone I personally prefer the bigger screen especially with the pencil too because I feel like I would get frustrated doing this on a phone but if that's all you got you got to work with what you have so go ahead and use a phone if you have to because Vectinator does work on a phone so I'll go ahead and do one more design to show you guys the steps again. This time I'll do the joggers, which is very similar to what I just did because I'm going to use the pen tool again and create those anchor points. So this one, you'll see me speed up the footage just so I can get it done quickly. I just wanna show you guys again exactly what I did by creating those anchor points. And then once this is done, there's a couple details that I really want to show you guys, which is why I'm doing another one. So when I get to the pockets, I'm going Going to draw in the pockets as normal by using the pen tool and creating my points now you can use the rectangle too and do it because as you can see I had to adjust my points to get it even the rectangle would have already had it even I don't know why I didn't use that but once the pencil is in you can go to the selection tool and select the copy option and you can literally drag and copy the pocket so that way the pockets on both sides will be symmetrical you'll have the same exact size pocket on both sides and you don't have to actually try to figure out those measurements so that's one of the details that I want to show you which is why I did another demo so I'll go ahead and finish the rest of the details that I haven't drawn in here yet and then there's one more thing I do want to show you guys that you may want to know if you're doing similar designs 
So I finished most of the detail. So now I'm going to go in and add in my color again to match similar to the other, other designs that I've done. And then I also want to go adjust these strings because I don't actually want these strings that long. You guys will see later if I show it, I believe I do show it in the video, that I go in and alter these designs anyway because I don't want them to be exactly like the original picture. The picture is used as a guide so I will make adjustments to this to make it my own design. But the one thing that I do want to get in to and show you guys that I didn't show you in the first design is the ribbing. So basically the banded areas of the design like on the sleeves or on the ankle part of the design. I want to go in and add that ribbing. And basically to add the ribbing all I'm going to do is use the line tool which is under that same spot where the rectangle and the circle is. You just switch it to a line and then I'm going to draw a bunch of lines going across the banded part of the joggers. Now as far as the spacing and the sizing you choose that because ribbing comes in different sizing you can do a half inch one inch whatever you decide I'm free balling this like so I'm just completely eyeing this I'm not actually measuring the spacing I just want it to look like ribbing so I'm going to add in a line and then I'm going to use that duplicate mode and I'm going to keep duplicating that line now the way to make it easier for you you can select a bunch of those lines once you put a few on there and then copy all of those so you don't have to do one line by the next doing individual lines you'll do a whole group of the lines and then your ribbing's done and then you can copy that one leg over to the next leg. And then again, you can add in your logo just like they had on the original picture by using the text tool. So in this footage, I'm going to put it exactly where they had it on the original image, but later I'm actually moving mine and mine is not going to be in the same spot. So these are the three designs that I've created so far by using the same technique that I just showed you guys how to do. Now these are looking just like the original pictures, like I haven't made any adjustments yet other than putting my own brand name on there, but I will be going in and making adjustments to these so that they look different and then like I said so I've done most of Mr. Rich right from Vectionator on my iPad I haven't even touched Adobe since maybe what like two videos ago whenever's the last time I used Adobe that was the last time I've used it since then I've been on Vectionator so I'm not done with my men's collection yet I have what so if I have 13 designs, definitely can't end with the number 13. I do want to do some denim and a few other things that I had on my list to do for men's. Plus, I still have to go through and do all the other color options because I won't just be selling brown. So you guys don't have to worry about that. I sell wholesale, so I have to offer a range of colors. So that way brands can buy the colors that they need. But what I have so far, I do want to at least show you guys what I have so far. So that way you guys can see. So let me go ahead and show you what I finished so far. Now on there I have the men's hoodie. So basically that top line is like the basics collection. So I have the hoodie, the joggers, a pullover, sweatshirt, shorts, and then t-shirt which I'm going to add graphics to the t-shirts. I just haven't done that yet. And then I have the varsity jacket which right now I have it pretty much plain but I'm going to add like patches and things on there to make it more fashionable. The trench coat, I have a puffer vest, puffer coat. I have my anorak. I have a knit cardigan and then I did a longer knit cardigan. So that's what I have so far. I have more that I need to do. Everything may not be actually produced in the end because that's one of the secrets to it which I've mentioned in a video before. A lot of times I will design a bunch of stuff because I need to figure out the pricing and is it going to be profitable for me to sell depending on what the cost is. So I have to create these sketches, create the tech pack, send it over to the factory and get accurate pricing on what it's going to cost to make these. So some of this might get dropped later. Some of it might stay. I may add in new things. You never know right now. This is just the design process. This is still the beginning. This isn't produced yet. So you guys will have to wait for the final reveal when I actually show you Mr. Rich as a complete collection. So I finally decided to go ahead and use the cork board because all the designs that I have created, all the sketches, I'm going to lay them out on the cork board along with the color options and a few fabrics. So that way I have something to visually look at each day and try to 
figure out if I even really like the collection, if there's styles I may want to drop, something I may need to alter. I'm still stuck in that old school state of mind, even though I have it on my iPad. I use my iPad for a million different things, so it's not like something I'll be looking at every day, where it's this cork board I'm going to put up so I can look at it each day until I get tired of seeing it, or I, until I get to the point where I know this is it. So I've already printed out some of my designs, so I'm going to cut these out and put them on the board. I have a few pieces of fabric over there that's going to go on here too. I still need to print out either the color swatches that I want to put on here for each style, like what color is going to come in, or maybe I'll just go ahead and add the colors in to each design and then print those out just a little smaller and put them on the board, which I'll show you guys I've done. I've started doing that on some of the designs already anyway. You guys didn't see that in the previous footage, but I have started adding in the color options for each design. So I'm debating do I want to print those out and put those on the board. I also thought about doing so like right now I have like all my browns that are printed out. I consider doing like all the blacks too. Doing all the blues, the olives, all that stuff and do like a color story. Haven't quite figured out how I want this board to look. I just know I need something on this board so I can visually look at this each day. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these out. So I guess while I cut these out, I'll tell you guys about, you know, what's been going on with the collection, where the collection is right now. I definitely need to go order my new printer because some of these did not print out very well. At least the dark colors didn't print out well, so I need to order that today. But anyway, so where I am with the collection. So for those of you that are familiar with importing specifically from China, you guys know that they closed because of COVID again. So this is in 2022. They shut down again because of COVID. This shutdown literally lasted two months. And of course the shutdown occurred right when I'm in the middle of doing a new collection. Same thing happened to me in 2020. I'm sitting here smiling about this, but it's not funny, it's frustrating. So anyway, they shut down again, which kind of held things off. I mean, I was still able to communicate with them and some of them were working from home. So some things got done, but as far as working in the factories, no. So now I am sitting here wondering do I push back my date because I am cutting it very close as far as the delivery date there's a good chance that I won't make my date now I originally wanted to launch all of this beginning of August so like that first week of August I think I mentioned in one of the videos I was shooting for August 7th because I originally launched the whole Nouveau Rich collection April 7th so it'd be nice to have you know that 7 7 date but I don't know if this is going to make it so now I'm trying to decide what it is that I want to do is cutting it very close on whether or not I will actually make that August 7th date if anything more comfortably the end of August will probably be best maybe even beginning of September so I consider doing September 7th but I don't know if that's pushing it too close to fall I mean I used to do fall collection September but with the way that this industry has changed most people are buying their fall stuff sooner than September Some I'm still by in September so this is the debate that I'm dealing with right now I have to make a decision soon I haven't put any official marketing out there as far as the men's collection on the launch date so that's a good thing I'm glad I didn't do that because I usually start that early so there's nothing out there that is specifying this date so if I have to change it it's okay to change it I don't like changing the dates I like to stick with what I have but I don't know I'm cutting it close things are behind because I delayed you know Know, samples coming in and all of that stuff so what's a girl to do do I delay this do I change the date do I stick with the date and pray that it makes it on time I gotta come up with something on how I'm gonna handle this situation because they closed on me I'm just grateful that because I did consider holding off on doing men's all together and was just gonna do it for spring of next year since they shut down and literally shut down for two months there's a lot of time lost but but I didn't end up letting it go I decided to just keep pushing through so now I feel like I gotta see this through I just gotta come up with a plan on how I want to 
approach this because obviously that shutdown did delay things which of course that delay also affects you know getting the samples in doing the photo shoots delaying the production everything gets pushed back so I don't know what I want to do maybe you guys have an idea what you feel I should do I just want my men's line to have a fair shot at selling so that way I can truly see the numbers if it's too late into fall especially going so close to the holiday time that can affect the numbers for me to see how well it performs or not because the closer you get to Black Friday the less people are buying because they pretty much already have their inventory in that they'll be selling so they're not trying to buy too much they're focusing on selling at that point so the earlier the better but things happen and I'm sure I'm not the only one in this boat because like little things that happen like I wanted to you know make sure the labels were made right so they'll send me samples of my labels to make sure my labels are done right before they're applied to garments so for them they had their sales and customer service people working from home so they were taking the orders in on what labels I needed they're communicating on you know how I needed this label done the exact colors that it needed to be you know blah 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 all that stuff's being communicated but it wasn't actually being produced because no one was working in the factory so that delayed everything here I am and they didn't even tell me that's the crazy part this entire time they're communicating I'm thinking they're still working because they didn't mention that they shut down because not everyone actually shut, shut down some of them were fighting against the entire shutdown because they didn't want to lose business again they had already did that in 2020 they don't want to have to go through that again not everyone agreed with this shutdown and then you also have to understand the shutdown too wasn't all of china it was certain areas shanghai hong kong did for a little while but not as long as shanghai so it was certain areas but some areas also was taking precaution so even if their area necessarily necessarily wasn't shut down they were you know starting to work from home just in case covid did spread to their area they didn't want their people getting sick understandable you got to protect your people i would have probably done the same but that screwed me up i'm trying to think what else happened um there's been quite a bit lately that has been occurring that was just the major thing that truly took an effect on all of this but let me stop telling story time i'm gonna cut these out and then i'll come back and talk to you guys because i am cutting super slow for some reason so i'm gonna go ahead go get my cutter that can cut this instead of doing this with scissors and then i'll come back so are you guys ready to see what i have so far so it's not done yet before i show you I just want to tell you that it's not done yet I probably won't finish it today because I have a quite a bit more to do so maybe in another day or two it'll be done but I'm gonna show you what I have so far okay so this is what I have so far so I have most of my main sketches on there all my designs aren't even on there yet because I have to do like denim I do have a denim factory so I want to use them for some of the men's stuff also so I'll probably do a couple pair of jeans that I still need to add on here and I feel like something else is missing on this board but the men's collection is not going to be as big as the women's just because this is my first time doing men's so this is like my trial run and then I'll build it up but I have most of the sketches on there and then you can see like with the t-shirts I have all the little colors let me zoom in so you guys see over here there's like the colors of all the t-shirts since this is a t-shirt it'll pretty much come in like all the colors and then like this one i started adding colors as well so the rest of these i have to go in and create all the sketches with the colors on there so i can put them on the board and then add the rest of my sketches on there fabrics because those aren't all the fabrics i just threw a couple fabrics on there let me zoom back out because then along the side I have all my colors on there. I was supposed to put the Pantone numbers on there before I printed them out. But I completely forgot to do that. But at least the colors are on there. The Pantone numbers are in my iPad so I'll be okay. And then for like the t-shirts and even the sweatshirts and the hoodies. I am creating graphics that I want to use especially for the t-shirts. I don't want to just sell plain t-shirts. Some of them will have graphics on there. So once those are designed I'll put those on the board as well. And one of the things I want to do for my men's collection so not only am I going to sell my designs with you know my graphics on there the logos on there but I'll also sell them blank because I sell wholesale so other brands will want to put their own branding on there that'll be a part of my private label for men's and then what men's can do if they have graphics that they want to have added to the garments I'm going to now allow that option where the graphics can be sent in and my factories will add those graphics onto the garments for you guys so that 
that way when it ships to you is already done. So that's something that I want to do with men's. Haven't quite figured out all the full details, but I know that'll be an option. That's something new that I've never done with women's. But that's it for this week's video. I need to get back into finishing this collection, sending off all the tech packs so the samples can come in. Actually, I think most of them might already be done. I didn't do the tech packs this time because I didn't feel like doing tech packs. Someone else is doing that. But I have to make sure all those are sent in to make sure all the samples start coming in. That's it for this week's video. Thank you guys for watching.